Hi there. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you today about this Levels continuous glucose monitor that I've been wearing for a little over a month now. Um, so why am I wearing this thing? Um, to look at me, I mean, I'm pretty good looking. Um, I'm fit, I'm active, I don't have weight to lose. When I tell people I'm wearing a glucose monitor, my typical reaction is you, what do you need that for? Well, turns out, um, I'm not as healthy as I thought. Uh, at one of my recent doctor's visits, uh, did my blood work and got my A1C back and it was sitting at 6.1, which um, puts me in the pre-diabetes range. Uh, just for reference, um, anything above 6.4 uh, is considered diabetic. Um, anything below 5.7 is considered good, you're fine. Um, Needless to say, this was a surprise, and the typical advice of lose some weight and get some more exercise um, would probably get me killed by my family, because I don't think I could find the time to do that, to do any more working out than I do, um, and I don't really have any weight to lose. So enter the level CGM. So a little bit of background, your A1C number, that number that I got back, that's a measure of your um, the amount of glucose in your blood over about a three month period. So. Um, it's a very good indicator of your metabolic health. Um, it is uh, not influenced very much by your, your daily number. It is, a, it is a number that you can only sort of accumulate over time. Um, this is pretty significant um, because if your glucose is, is elevated for an extended period of time, it starts to mess with your body in some pretty significant ways. Um, it's gonna start to irritate your blood vessels, um, causing you to collect cholesterol in there to repair that damage. Um, the persistent sense of general inflammation is gonna cause you all kinds of problems, downstream problems, cancers, Alzheimer's, a bunch of yucky things. And when you've got glucose in your system at an elevated rate for a long time, it really starts to cause a lot of problems with your kidney. So getting this squared away um, is critically important for, uh, for your health and not to develop what is often called insulin resistance, so your body's inability to manage insulin and glucose, uh, and what is often referred to as metabolic syndrome. Um, typically, these problems are gonna manifest for most people in unwanted weight gain, um, and sort of a general <laughs> visible lack of, of good health. Um, but of the uh, millions of Americans that have um, High, high blood sugar and um, insulin resistance, about a third to a half of them are not even overweight. So there are, are many, many athletes and apparently healthy people walking around out there with this sort of exact, um, with this sort of exact problem. Where the glucose monitor is really um, helpful is in debunking or sort of putting to bed the idea that this diet or that diet or this one nutritional thing or that other nutritional thing is a is the way to do it. What um, what you really start to discover as you start to track your blood sugar and look at other people doing the same thing is that what is metabolically healthy for me may be a total metabolic um, bomb for somebody else. For example, one of our other uh, athletes here at Existence who is also wearing one of these monitors um, if she eats an apple, she might as well eat a donut. Um, and frankly, she decided she would just take the donut if it's gonna be that bad. Um, for me, apple is totally fine. Same food, we react very, very differently. Um, very, very differently. Uh, so what is a continuous glucose monitor? So uh, Levels, um, which is the brand that I'm talking about today, is one of a few companies that offer this, um, this technology. So. Essentially, it is an app on your phone um, that interfaces with a subcutaneous sensor um, that you wear. The sensor lasts about two, the sensor lasts two weeks, um, and this sensor is sort of get, getting a continuous measure of your of your glucose. Um, the app is um, basically giving you um, a continuous readout. Um, of that, of that information. Now, the uh, the application of these things uh, can be a little bit intimidating at first. You may have seen seen them online. You get a little applicator kit. 
Um, you put it in, snap, it does, there is a little needle that pops it into your arm. Um, I'm here to tell you, it doesn't hurt at all. Um, I'm not kidding, it doesn't hurt at all. Uh, one thing to be mindful of though is placement. So you'll notice I've got mine sort of placed in the, in the crease between these two muscles. I had made the mistake before with another um, monitor of putting it into my tricep muscle. That can start to get pretty uncomfortable after a little while. So where you put it can matter, but putting it in, um, no problem. Um, Levels offers two versions of the way these, these glucose monitors can operate. Um, the one I opted for, um, you scan periodically with your phone. If I had a phone here, you'd see me scanning it. Um, and it gives you a readout and then that uh, interfaces with the, with the app and then you see your glucose over time. There is another option that you can run um, where your monitor is Bluetooth connected to your app and that's gonna give you just a continuous um, update of glucose data and it's not going to, um, it's not gonna force you to scan it all the time. We have one of our members here who's using that. One of the nice things about that is that it will ping you if your blood sugar is either going too high or too low, letting you know, hey, you should probably go for a walk or hey, you should probably eat something. Um, I opted for this one. I had had some experience with another um, CGM company before and it worked in a similar way. So I wanted just a more apples to apples comparison. I also am pretty diligent about scanning, so I didn't want it just sort of bugging me all the time. Um, let's see. The Levels app is super informative, super easy to understand. Um, the primary visual, and you'll see an image of this in a second, um, is basically just a running line of your glucose over time. You can see your spikes, you can see your troughs. Um, and it's also gonna show you your current average glucose. Um, somewhere between 75 and 105 is a, is a good number and you're trying to stay in that, in that um, sort of average range. Um, it'll also give you um, what they call your, your uh, stability score. That's a score one out of 100. We all been to school, 100's good, 70's a C, you get the picture. Um, the reason that number is important is even though you may have a nice even level or a nice average low glucose, if that glucose is spiking and troughing, spiking and troughing, that's really hard on your metabolism uh, and it's an indication that you're struggling with um, your abilities, your body's ability to deal with insulin and glucose if you're spiking and troughing a lot. So that's a pretty good um, piece of information to have. Um, the app also has a pretty simple food log built into it. So you can take that line of your glucose and, and cross-reference it against your meals. So seeing for a particular meal, how much of a spike did you get? How long did it take to come down? Um, how was that timed with exercise? How was that timed with your sleep? The, the app does also a really nice job of interfacing with other health trackers. I use my, my Apple Watch. And so my sleep and my activity, all my workouts also um, sync up with the app so you can start to see where, um, where your body is responding to your activity. Um, one of the things that I learned in this process that I didn't know before is that when I'm doing zone two, sort of easy run, easy bike ride, um, that kind of work, my blood sugar drops as you would expect. I'm burning off that glucose in my muscles and in my, in my liver. What was interesting to me to discover was during high intensity exercise, uh, interval training, anything that's really sort of intense, uh, I got the opposite response. And that I've learned makes sense because what happens when your body is asking for all that energy, your liver responds by dumping more glucose into your system so that you can, um, so that you can function, you can meet those needs. Um, it was also very interesting to discover how different foods um, met with my metabolism and even their timing. Um, and this is really where the glucose monitor is earning its money, is seeing how eating a thing affects your metabolism and even the difference between eating my chicken and side of rice. If I plow through that rice first and then eat my chicken, not such a good response. I eat all my chicken first, 
and then nibble away at the rice at the end, much better response. Um, so that's started to change some of my habits, my eating habits. So for example, if I'm gonna have a little bit of bread with dinner, um, I save that for the end after I've eaten my proteins and my fats and I get a much more level response as opposed to chowing my bread and then sort of spiking my, uh, spiking my blood sugar. Um, the other interesting thing is pairing foods that are a little bit metabolically uh, reactive. So like that apple that I talked about, pretty good um, for me, but I throw a little bit of peanut butter on there, a little bit of fat on top of that carbohydrate, and all of a sudden that level, uh, that line levels out quite a bit. Um, and who doesn't like apples and peanut butter? It is delicious. Um, so let me talk about pros and cons with the levels CGM. Uh, I'll start with things that I wish for a little bit, and there's really only two. Um, the first is the food tracking uh, function in the app uh, is a little bit light. Uh, you can absolutely track your foods and, and go back and look at what you ate and, and how long it affected you. Uh, however, uh, there's not currently built in a way to track portions, calories, or macros, uh, protein, fat, carbohydrates in there. Um, that is some good information to see how your, meta, how your macro balance is starting to affect, affect your metabolism. Uh, however, uh, I'm told from Levels that in their next version of the app, they, that's the main thing that they're addressing and that the food tracking is gonna be much more robust, which I'm super looking forward to. Um, the second thing, and this is a very minor complaint, is the way the sensor interfaces with the, um, with the app you have to use a second app um, that is actually proprietary to the sensor to scan the sensor and then that that app syncs with the levels app um, it's basically just one extra click on your phone it's no big deal but it, it can be a little bit clunky to do the one and then do the other but you totally get used to it um, things that i dig about this uh this technology first of all the in, the visual interface on the app is incredibly easy to understand. You got a line, you got a score, you got some very basic data about how you're doing throughout the day, and it is more than enough to really help you get a handle on how your nutrition, how your activities, how your sleep are all affecting your metabolism. Um, it's very, very easy to go back through time, 30, 60, 90 days, and see what your averages are, how you've been doing. Um, and for somebody like me that's trying to sort of um, fix a metabolic issue, that, that data over time is, is very, very important. Um, the second thing I really appreciate as an athlete and a coach um, is that the app does differentiate between a spike from high intense activity versus a spike from nutrition. Uh, and that, that really makes me happy, right? Because when I get this big spike in the morning, um, after a heavy workout, um, that doesn't count against my, my, um, my stability score for the day, as well it shouldn't. Those spikes from those workouts are a perfectly natural and expected thing. Um, nobody should worry about that happening. Um, however, spikes from your food, um, definitely you should be concerned about that. The final thing that I really like about Levels is the pricing. So when you sign up, it's uh, a $199 initial startup fee, and then your $199 a month um, recurring for as long as you keep it. And again, for somebody like me who's kind of in this for a little bit of a long game, um, getting this metabolism squared away is going to take some time. I expect to be using this thing for about a year at least. That's a, um, compared to other apps on the market, that's about a $1,200 savings over 12 months. Um, and that's really significant. Um, overall, using the, the CGM from Levels has been an incredibly illuminating experience. Um, what I thought was a really good diet turns out wasn't. Apparently I was eating a lot more cookies and pasta and chips than I had imagined. Uh, and having the app kind of watch me um, really keeps you honest. Um, it's also really helped me get into a much more sustainable nutrition pattern that frankly at this point is kind of normal now and what used to be normal is sort of strange and scary to me so i'm happy to be done with that um and so yeah it has been 
an invaluable tool in me getting a handle on my own metabolism, my own health. Um, and as I've learned over the last few months, there are a lot of athletes like us uh, walking around out there with, um, with high blood sugar and likely not even knowing it. So my emphatic, uh, um, <laughs> my emphatic plea to you all out there is go get your blood work done, go see how it's doing. Um, and if that blood sugar is creeping up and it's getting somewhere where you don't think you should, you should be, go get yourself a level CGM um, and get right. That is all. Cheers.